there was some alcohol involved. An argument that allegedly started over food leads to the death of an Oklahoma father. You're watching Oklahoma's News 4 at 10. And that is where we begin here tonight at 10. A family trip to an Oklahoma ATV park ends with a father being run over. His wife now charged in his death. News 4's Caitlin Ogle just back from Juanette with the story. Katie. Well, the Pottawatomie County under sheriff says the suspect Chanel Lewis was originally just facing manslaughter charges, but after investigators started digging, they're upping those charges to second degree murder. The little girl was screaming saying her dad was dead. A frantic call to 911 from the Soggy Bottoms ATV trail near Winnet. The Pottawatomie County Sheriff's Office saying family day at the campgrounds turning deadly. Somebody ran her dad over and he was dead out on one of our trails. The victim's 20-year-old son, Christian, sharing these videos with News 4, calling his father, Christopher Lewis, an off-road enthusiast. He told us off camera a fight that initially started over food, then escalated. He had told her that he wanted a divorce, and she made a statement that she was going to run over him and kill him. And this allegedly enraging Chanel Lewis under Sheriff JT Palmer saying the 36 year old wife hopping in an ATV gunning it for her husband. Uh, first one that we've ever had somebody in Chinchery run somebody over. With him. Christian telling News 4 he then hit his stepmom in the face after she allegedly tried to run over him and his sister. The swelling still visible in her mugshot. There was some alcohol involved. Christian still recovering from the real life nightmare, telling News 4 he's trying to understand why the man who loved mega trucks and mudding is gone. In a statement to News 4, Christian saying, quote, he was a great man and would help anyone in need. And quote, I have a thousand brothers because he was a father figure to everyone. And now the medical examiner's office is looking into what exact injuries killed Christopher Lewis.